not to the social plans and look at the film. Okay? That's what's going to destroy the latest campaign of Google. This is just that's what I'm going to do. Your point has to pass out the social plans and look at the film. My friend Lawrence created a plan recently uh, to simplify uh, shipping within Africa. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know what this is, but I'm not sure what the name of the plugin is. Let's say that plugin is called uh, Ship and Africa. Okay? If, 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 if I use a keyword of shipping, ship will make you ship in Lobo or ship in Africa. But that keyword is not trying to name them. It won't help much. No. Or if I use the name of, um, of Cascade Labs, or, for example, so if you use this so much as if I use the name of Cassie Labs as my keyword, but Cassie, Cassie Labs offers digital content. Um, I had a market MVP, which is an Australian web design agency. Um, we are in uh, Rwanda, I live in Rwanda, that's where I work from. But we also have a team, uh, team here in Uganda and also in Nigeria. So um, uh, we are mostly. We are mostly in uh, web design. We develop plugins, uh, WordPress plugins. We also do a lot of SEO as specialists. We build and migrate uh, corporate websites, massive massive websites. Now, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any clientele in Africa, but hopefully, we will be able to do that. But for the rest of the world, we have most of our clients in Australia, Europe, Europe, and the US. Um, this session is going to teach you about the fundamentals of SEO. If anything, please get a pen and paper. I'm going to look at what SEO is. What is SEO? What makes the best place for SEO? We're going to look at what is good content. Um, Shall us a bit of it. So I'll, I'll, I'll really sweep through it really quickly. Um, we're going to look at what makes the first page. What makes your website fast? Okay? What makes it look fast? We're going to look at how we measure our results, our analytics. Then we're going to look at um, a bit of social media and then where we start on this journey. First of all, what is SEO? Okay? SEO is to many people it's a need. It's like you know that you need to want to do SEO to run on the first page of Google. Okay? But most people don't understand what it is. But to understand what SEO is, you need to know why we need SEO. Why do we need SEO? It's very simple, guys. It is because such things want to deliver a great experience. Okay? That's it. If you need to understand what SEO is, just understand this. It will put a lot. Such things want to deliver a great experience for their users. Okay? People don't want to use them. such things that give back with them. Okay? So we all assure that any answer that we have that we need just go to Google and type it in and we get an answer. But for you, your page will appear on Google. It has to cost you. Your page will appear on the first page of Google. It has to actually trust your content. So we're going to look at how you get that point for Google to actually trust you. That is the whole essence of, of this view. Let me speak in one that only. <laughs> That's simply it. If you understand this little bit, you're going to get to another level of this view. That's it. Google is the free, it's the greatest free marketing tool. Okay? Google sends us the customers for free. All of you that put a search in Google are Google's customers. The person that has a website, like um, Cassini Labs, has a website, they have to trust him to have on the first page. How do they get to trust him? That's what we're going to look at. How do they get to trust your simple website? You see that you pick that up in the in a, in a IT app. Who can you pass the same website to the community? How do you even get to know it? This is what I'm going to look at. It's not hard. These are the fundamentals. And I'm so glad that we have students here. If these young students can understand this, 
And this journey, they're going to go far ahead. I truly believe if you can understand what this interaction is, it's going to help you a lot. Because even if you have a lot of aspects, if you don't understand this way, it's going to fail you. Because you want to be grounded in such things. Okay? So now, how do you how do such things know that they can trust us? Such images use what is called algorithms. Okay? They just stop the news. They use what are called the rollers, such words, spiders, that roll the site into for content that you posted of your, of your website, of your product, of your brand, of whatever it is on Google. So, once Google captures the data, it sends it to their data center. These um, algorithms go through it to be, to assess whether it's actually trusted, to assess the data, to assess the data, to see if they've done things, to see if they've done these things in the data system, and then they come back and say, this one is true, this fake is true, that is true, that is true. Okay? It's capable of running on Google's first page. Okay, so they use algorithms. The very first algorithm was called uh, Pedro. Pedro was named after Larry Page, one of the co founders of Google, and Will Page. That's how they call it Pedro. Pedro, um, it was written like this. If, if, they, they noticed that if people link to your site so fast, that means they are very popular. That was the first one. That looks at local uh, search optimization. There's no um, mobile video that looks at uh, mobile experience, mobile response. Last one. This Google helpful content companies came out came out last one. Is it right now? This is the very biggest one that I want you to take note of. The Google helpful content company looks at we were in a content where visitors feel they've had a good experience on your site. If I come to others' website, if I come to Julia, if I come to any of your websites, and I spend so much time on those, I, I, the, the layout is good, the images are really optimized well. I've basically had a good experience, I don't believe in you. This is looking like that. This latest update, if anything, please go and read about this latest update. Okay? Try to use those standards of this latest update of Google for your website. It's going to help you run your site in Google. Okay? Um, to talk more about this latest update, please, Google has um, Google has guidelines, the whole web guidelines. Please write that down. One such Google's web guidelines. These web guidelines guide you into the what you will use. So look, look for those um, guidelines and use them, please. Use them for your site to be able to run um, in Google. Okay? So there's the web guidelines and the long standing factors. These are the two links that you should. To summarize again, um, this one is making the best web page for a given search term to maximize the value of traffic. That should be only functional testing among what I talked about before. Another disclaimer or another point to note do not manifest the best page for SEO. If you look at this chart, 60% of your website content, of your website should be content. 60% effort should be important. If you have a website that is very fast, the fastest in the gym, if you have a website that is mobile responsive, it's technically it's sound, the audience is going to, but the content is crap. We don't know if you want to do it. Because Google Play A is to satisfy the customers. If your content is poor, if your content is not good, if your content is, is, has no paragraphs, no sentences, people find it boring. If you know, if your content, um, a high school kid can't understand what which are all these complex words. I want to flag you. They won't trust you. So 60% of your effort should be on content, good content. Okay? Your page has to answer 
come to the church with friends and look for the film. Okay? That's what happened to destroy the religious campaign of the people. It is just that's what I'm referring to. You have to be just to pass out the church with friends and look for the film. My friend Lawrence created a plan recently uh, to simplify uh, shipping within Africa. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know what this is, but I'm not sure what the name of the plugin is. Let's say that plugin is called uh, Ship and Africa. Okay? If, 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 if I use a keyword of shipping, ship will make you ship in Logo or ship in Africa. But that keyword is not right to name them. It won't help much. No. Or if I use the name of, um, of Asila, so, for example, so if you use this so much as if I use the name of Cassie Labs as my keyword, but Cassie Labs offers digital content, so you can to design, instead of using keywords like uh, SEO content, instead of using keywords like um, optimization, SEO optimization, and use Cassie Labs, which is not right, it's not the wrong way. Okay? Cassie Labs is not the keyword, it's the name of this site. Okay? So, this is. Uh, this is a similar score of reliability. So I don't know if you can see it clearly there, but it should be very good that if I think of it here or you can be able to read it, that is, um, when you reach that level, that should be really interesting. If it's more or less, it is not as good. Okay? It is, if it is more, it's better. If it's less than 60%, it is not good. Okay? Um, then the follow guys are like those. There's a, there's a Yosu guy that says that is the kind of case you can write to, actually you can um, you can write that down on so it has some very good guidelines. So if you have a lot of content that is not image, you have 20 paragraphs, but there's no images in between. Your content already is gone. And remember, your account state should always be very, very low. You don't want your person to harm your a user to visit your site and then jump up quickly because it's going. How to help them and keep them there? So use the images, but remember to optimize them. Use cult text to find the images so that even a blind person can understand it by using those cult texts by defining what the image actually is. Use videos. Okay? Use videos for your content. Use um, GIFs. GIFs are very light. Okay? Use that. Use the uh, original images if possible. When I was coming to, to, to Ginger to, know, to, to find a hotel, I started with Google. Yes. What are the best hotels in Ginger? What are the cheapest hotels in Ginger? What are the nearest hotels in the Russian village? That's where my site started. And then we started started Google. Okay? But to get that page, for someone, for even someone's hotel to refer to that page, they have to have a good description of that page. Okay? This is a snippet of a small video of how you can use it to, um, to put better descriptions in your site. You can use yours freely for that. Okay? Um, once you have that, Google can now understand exactly what your site is and everyone else. Okay? Um, my time is really running out, so let me. Uh, summarize and go through this. So what what other point um, is good for SEO? Fast pages. What makes a fast page? No one has ever complained that your page is too fast or your site works very, very fast. No. But it's a very good user experience point. Okay? You should have your websites quite fast. But how do you get to that point? Okay? These are the tools that you can use. There's um, uh, GigiMetrics in Lighthouse. There's uh, Page Insights. You can all use all those tools. There's WP Smash that um, optimizes images on your website. WP Rocket. Then have a good host. Always have a good host. I tell you, I can use WP because it's a versatile uh, hosting company. It does so much more for us, including very, very good security. Have a very good support for your site. Um, then you need to measure your results because you don't want to create content 
but you don't know how it actually performs. Always measure your websites analytics. After after told me that he even has a screen same where he just looks at how his page is performing. Use that, it's going to help you. Okay? Um, those are some of the tools that we use. I won't say I'm going to them. Then social media. Once you use social media, it's very good. Um, Twitter loves links. Use Twitter. What Camp Ginger has been tweeted so much, and everyone is it's trading right now. Use that for your content as well. Um, so where do we start? As I finish up, start with WordPress. Who wants WordPress? WordPress rules <laughs> rules uh, on the internet really. Forty three percent of of websites are part of WordPress. Start using WordPress as a CMS. Get a very fast host. Okay? There are some free ones actually. You don't have to pay for it. Get a free host. Um, like I said, use WPG. Use a mobile optimized theme. A theme that someone using a mobile phone can actually understand, can see your content easily on your mobile phone. Use tools like Yoast. Okay? Use um, SEMrush to do keyword research and all these other things. And then fill your website with great content. So, um, to conclude, that's about it, about me. I know it was so rushed, but uh, if anyone has any questions, please, this is the time. Thank you very much.